Hello, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. I'm Greenbird. I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, today we're going to take this preform that I made a while back. It's the video of the spearhead leaf point, I guess is probably what I called it. Uh, if I think of it, I'll post a link to it in the video, but today I thought I'd finish it up. I really like it the way it is. I almost, uh, you know, second guess whether or not I should even notch it, if I should just keep it, you know, paleo style and, and um, you know, haft it the way it is into something really cool but I think it could use a little bit of thinning even if we did that the base is a little bit th thick if I do decide to notch it I'm concerned that those notches would stall so I thought let's just have a little bit of fun with it and see if we can thin a little bit of that out not a lot just enough to you know allow us to put notches in it because I think it's probably the best thing to do is to and notch this. I'm gonna grind off all the stuff that doesn't really want to be there anyway. I also thought about maybe making this into a knife blade. So we'll see. Because it's a nice knife. I like those double-sided knives. You know, opposed to the knives that you see that are preforms that look just like a knife. So I'm going to use antler again for this. I'm going to try and take off hopefully, the, hopefully I've got the camera right. I've got so much glare I can't even see really what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to try and address the base first because that's my biggest concern. I see all kinds of places I can take. Just gotta take the right one. Alright, so I think I'm gonna start shaky today. Yeah, boy, they're all a little bit imperfect, those platforms. I probably should just build myself a platform. But I'm gonna try and take this spot right here. Drive that flake just to thin that base a little bit. One of the things I love about working with bone is that oftentimes, yeah, look at that. It's really forgiving as far as needing to be grind, ground, ground. Apologize for that improper English. I mean, you still have to grind it. But it just, that antler just grips really good. I really like it a lot. Still not 100% used to it. Okay, so I wish I could have shown you that. That's a perfect example. That last flake, I actually prevented that from from uh, going further than it did because I was holding it too tight. So, that's alright. At least I recognize it. I'm not going to do it again. Nope. Traveled much better. I have to lose track of your shape. of doing that. The other side. So even though I'm resting this antler, I mean this uh, preform, on the leather, I'm still, I'm not napping off my leg like I normally do. I'm supporting with my finger. I'm trying to still support the tip with that end, end shock. Side. Well, actually, let's take this first. 
Just really thin flakes here. Got myself that time. That's all right. Got to pay your dues. All right, so we're starting to thin that out, but we're also narrowing down that base. So I want to be careful about that. Otherwise, I'll end up with a stem. Which is not a bad thing. I have plenty of points that I use to put a stem on there instead of notches. They have to just as good. They might not look quite as nice, but... Work. All right, so this is Novaculite, by the way. If you haven't seen the first video, this is Novaculite from Arkansas. Some good stuff too. I think I might have got this from James About. I can't remember for sure. Aggressive grinding. I have a little bit of a more of a blade on this side than this side, so I'm going to do a little bit of trimming. I mean, it's to be expected. I just worked that other side, so. There we go. Well, you can hear those flakes too. When you get a good flake, you can hear it. it just has such a distinct sound to it. Alright, now let's walk our way up here. Try and thin a little bit. I know this preform was already made, so not the most exciting video. But it has to be finished. I need to finish it. I figure why not. Get it on film. Oh, that was a nice long flake. Plus, it's just really nice to be practicing with this antler. I've only used this a half a dozen times or so, or a dozen times probably. Because I don't have a big enough antler to make the preforms with. I do have some hammer stones, and I have had advice of uh, you know using those larger hammer stones for making the preform. I just don't have as good luck with the hammer stones as I do with the other stuff. I just need to practice. It's all about practicing. I mean, when you when, if you do what I do and you use the same tools and the same techniques and everything, then you know of course. It's going to be awkward when you switch, so I should probably be practicing much more diversified than I am. I did a little bit of indir indirect percussion the other day. I'm not going to post the video. It was awful. <coughs> I'm doing something wrong, but um, was better than the last time I did it, so at least, you know, the show is something. Maybe just understanding a little bit more about napping. I'm also thinking maybe the tip I was using was too small. I have some antler. I'm thinking about maybe making a bone insert. Making a, an, an issue stick style indirect pressure flaker. I also have one that is uh, that a Tim Bears is going to send me. His works really good. If you watch his videos. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure he's relatively new to napping. And he makes it look really easy. So. Alright, so. I want to lose my beautiful shape here, so. There we go. Love that sound.
kind of a deep flake there, so make sure I feather it back into the rest of the point. Yeah, it's, it's, it always surprises me. Well, I shouldn't say always, but the last few times I've used this antler, it, it does surprise me how much thinner I can get it than I think I'm going to. I'm taking small, small flakes. I know it's probably hard to see. These aren't big, you know, huge thinning flakes, but they're small ones that are doing the job. Okay. I'll get back to this base. There we go. That's what I need. I need some flakes like that. You see how that took off a nice thinning flake, and I really didn't grind at all. I didn't grind at all. I've got another one right here. It's not even really a great platform. But look at those flakes just come off. That antler just really grips. Hopefully I don't regret saying that. Because when you don't grind, you do open yourself up to a greater possibility of end shock. Get some shaping over here. Take a peek at it every once in a while. Make sure everything still looks symmetrical. Take a flake where needed. Alright, looking good. Maybe at some point I'll just give this whole thing a grind a grind. Just to all the loose stuff off because we've been working pretty much the whole the whole point. There we go. I'm taking a little bit off the base. Just because I feel like it needs it. Bring out what wants to be there. All right. So you see, we have our pretty much our same shape. Our edges are sharper. We've, we're a little thinner. That base is a lot better than it was. It's still a little thick. And to be honest with you, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I do feel like it's kind of angled down a little bit, a little flatter on this side. I don't really like that. I think I might just fix that. Sometimes I leave it, I don't worry about it, but I think, in this case, I'm going to fix it. I mean, you're gonna, we're going to lose some of the uh, length on that, but I don't care. And you also end up adjusting your, you know, your shape, because you're, if you brought it down to like a point, if that's what you wanted, Obviously, by taking that base off, you're going to lose that. But in this situation, everything still looks pretty good, I think. Now, you might be saying to yourself that that point's kind of thick, but this is a spear point. This is for thrusting into mammoths, large animals. <clears throat> it's more of like a Neanderthal type of spear. Not modern man. They had the throwing spears. The NFL did not have the throwing spears. It's interesting to think about that too. Could you imagine having it so close to whatever you're hunting that you had to be able to stab it with your spear? Not just the 
bravery that it would take to do that, but the ability to get that close. Anybody else there has ever seen a deer and tried to get close to it? I can assure you, it's not easy. And I know that they hunted a lot of like mastodons, or uh, I'm sorry, mammoths and things like that, but there are, there is evidence, uh, archaeological evidence of deer bones and stuff too from that time period. Now, whether they found already dead animals and harvested the bones to use for tools or killed them themselves, I don't know. close. Line this off. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of this little nubby spot here. Instead of fixing that, I'm going to start my notch there. And I think what we're going to do... Well, let's go side notches. All right, I'm going to fix that up a little bit. So now, we're going to put some side notches in this. I don't know, part of me still wants to keep it the way it is, but I'm going to put some notches in it anyway. So, a little bit of an edge on my pressure flaker. Not a lot, just rough it up a little bit so it gets some grip. This is leather. This is cedar. Let's see here, and let's just start right here. I'm gonna maybe try and angle those a little bit. When I'm notching, I'm pressure flaking more to the side than I am down. I had somebody ask about that. Uh, for me, personally, it helps with stalled notches. It doesn't, my notches don't stall as much when I do that. This is kind of thick, so, you know, hard to tell what's going to happen. I'm going to switch over, even though I've only done, well, I'll do one more. And then I'm going to switch over so that in the event that my notches do stall, ooh, that didn't sound good, at least I can maybe have them the same. Yeah, maybe I should have listened to my gut and left this the way it was. But too late now. back over each time trying to ooh, and that's kind of the sound of a stall trying to make sure yeah see how that there's no real flat edge there whereas this side I can, there's something for me to pluck off of so I can do one of two things I can either back off or yeah back off of that a little bit and try and create a flake I can try and push at a different angle There we go, that worked. See, this is a little bit thick to be notching. That was my concern, too. That's why I was thinking maybe it would be a good knife. But I really wanted to put some notches in here. And I made this preform. I said it was going to be a, sp a spear point, so. And keep my word. 
go. Turn on the right. Okay, that one's getting to be a little bit deeper, so I'm going to flip over and come back over here. Pick which side this notch. Actually, looks like it's partially stalled. Yeah, I think that's about as deep as we're going to get that one. Oh, that sounded promising. Hear that clink? Yeah, it sure did. Unstalled that notch. That was nice. We needed that. Go back over this side. I'm trying to keep them as close to the same depth as possible before I flip because if I stall them, I want them to at least look somewhat decent. These might even just be deep enough at, right now. Yep. Got some crunching there. Not super deep notches. They're almost almost looks like a stem of some sort, but. ear look a little bit like the other one, but you want to be really careful because you can pop those ears off and then you're really in trouble. So I think that's good enough for me. Address it from this side. trying to get everything to look the same and I'm trying to look for the spots where I can I see those like platforms they just pop up in your head you'll see them you know once you start to see them you always see them no matter if you're notching or what you're doing try and make the, the base the tail look like the other side sometimes you need to touch it up a little bit So far, let's see if we get a good, good view for you. There's the base. Base could use a little bit of love. So I'm going to start by this side right over here. Little bits. I'm shaping. So don't take off too much. And this needs to come down a little bit. Working the base is always a little bit scary because, you know, it's hard to support it properly and you can find yourself in a situation that induces end shock. with this pretty soon. How it done. So we have something to put onto a spear. A little last minute work on those notches. Just to see if I can get a little bit better. I'm going to round this ear off just a little bit so it matches the other one. Let's see what we got here. I 
Just little nibbles. Little nibbles. Checking the sides each time. I hope you can see this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so what I was doing is I was trying to... That one corner was just too square compared to this rounded one. So I was just trying to even them up. So you can tell it's not you know, amazingly deep notches. But I just don't feel like it, this point wants those really deep notches. Plus the notches started to stall a little bit, but I, mean, I think just enough to haft it. I really wanted this to look more primitive looking. Sand down in those notches. For a couple reasons. One, it gets rid of the stuff that doesn't want to be there and it reveals, you know, the real shape without all that garbage stuff on there. And two, I just think it makes sense as far as hafting is concerned. So you don't cut through your sinew when you're hafting. I mean, I don't know how much of a concern that would be, especially if you're using pine pitch, which you most definitely would be. But this is stuff I've gotten in the habit of doing. I'm trying to grind down this one side because I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just, it's higher over on this side than it is over here. It's almost like the stem is off to an angle. I'm just trying to correct that as best I can. I guess I'm just going to put it down for now. Maybe I'll come back and try and touch it up a little bit. But that's what we're left with right there. This is our spear point. I'm happy with it. It's a little on the thick side. I like that. It'll still sharpen just as sharp. It just means it won't shatter into a million pieces the first time it's used. Those notches cleaned up a little bit. Maybe in the next video or two I'll haft it onto something and we can take a look at it. Alright, so anyway, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, I know that, again, this probably wasn't the most exciting video I've done, but I had a lot of fun, and I wanted to get it on film, and I hope you had fun too. So please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and uh, most importantly, have an awesome day. This is Paleo Greenbird signing out.